Hey guys, so for the holidays I made my sister-in-law a KitchenAid cover, so I thought I'd show you how I did it. You're going to need your fabric, bias tape or fa matching fabric to make bias tape, batting and your lining fabric. I wanted my pattern of fabric to be the right side up on both sides of the KitchenAid, so I actually took my main piece, cut it in half, sewed it together, so there'd be a seam on the outside, but you wouldn't see it on the inside. Then I wanted to make a pocket, and then your sides, again, out of all three of your fabrics. So you'll have four pieces in total. Iron all the pieces together with right side, wrong sides together facing the batting. Now if you have any sp a spray adhesive, go ahead and use that, but I didn't so I used pins and just pinned my fabric all together. This just helps with any shifting of the fabric when you're sewing it. For my top piece, as you see, I'm sewing the two sides together so that when you put, the, put it on the batting, you won't see the seam. But this way, the coffee mugs are going right side up on both ways when it's on the kitchen lid. So on my machine I used a S stitch and I did this about one inch to one and a quarter inches apart all the way through the fabric. This can take some time so be patient with it and stay steady. So as you can see, all my fabrics have been quilted together. Now I'm going to trim up the sides and even them out. Now after making this project once, I would always recommend cutting your burst out about an inch bigger than what you want. I did make a second one of these for my other, other family member and instead of use, doing this way I actually used a double sided fusible batting which it saved a bit of time and gave the same effect without the texture. So once you've done that to all your pieces, you're ready to start your bias tape. <clears throat> so I went ahead and made my bias tape because I wanted it to match the inside of my KitchenAid. So cut all your strips, one and a half, two inches, however you feel. I went with about, I think, two inches here. Attach all your strips together. As you can see, I'm 90 degree and then I'm sewing across the, from point to point. If you want to save yourself some time, you could buy this bias tape already made. Then cut off your triangles so that you have a nice straight piece. Now iron your bias tape, open up all your seams because you want to avoid any bulkiness. So 
once you've done that you're going to fold your fabric in half and press it and then fold your raw edges in and press until you have all this bias tape. So grab your smallest piece first for the pockets and you're going to put some bias tape at the top. Open up your bias tape and put raw edges together right sides together and pin in place. You're gonna sew in, in the little crease there, the well I call it. Once you're done that, get your hand sewing needle out. Fold your bias tape back over. And this is where I actually hand sew it. But because this is going to be used for the pocket and there will be a lot of pulling and tugging, I actually decided to sew in the ditch, which is just that crease line. Just So now you're going to take your pocket and attach it to your main piece. Pin it in place, find the center, and sew down the line. I like to stop before the bias tape so the bias tape doesn't have a crease in it. Fold your piece in half, main piece in half and pin the center. Fold your side piece in half and pin the top center. Line up your pins and pin all the way. Make sure you have the inside facing the inside. Always start from the middle and pin around. and then sew in place. I use about a half inch seam allowance here. Do the same for the other side and this is what you'll have. So our raw edges are on the outside, but our inside is fully done. Let's go ahead and trim along the sides, even up everything. And then open up your bias tape and attach it to the sides. Sew down in place. Once this is in place, you'll need to hand sew it on the other side. So grab yourself a comfy blanket, go sit on your couch, throw on a TV show or something and sew away. That's what I did, so there's no video of me hand sewing. Do the same thing for both sides. And then along the bottom, attach your bias tape sew around and then turn it to the inside and hand sew and there you have your KitchenAid cover 
I hope you enjoy making this as much as I did. And remember, hit that subscribe button and keep watching for more videos.